de curiosidad. ¿Por qué no miras tú? de unirse al coro celestial. ¡Quieto ahí! ¡Eh, tú, detente! Cree que se puede escapar. ¡Vuelve y pelea como un hombre!
Voy a sacarte el hígado, socio. ¡Más rápido! ¡No debemos perderlo! ¡Granada va! Oh. ¡Intenta darnos esquinazo! Oh. ¡Ahí está! ¡Mirad allí! Oh. ¡Cogedlo! Oh. Oh. ¡Rendimos fácilmente! ¡Puedo abatirlo de un tiro! ¡Alto! ¡Puedo hacerlo! ¡Listo para disparar! ¡Enemigo a tiro, señor! ¡Puede estar jugando conmigo! ¡Sí que se ha escondido bien el... Thank <laughs> you. 
escondido aquí. ¡Vuelve aquí, sabandija! Esa rata está huyendo. ¡No corras! Que... ¡Alto ahí! ¡Alto! ¡Vuelve aquí ahora! ¡Vuelve aquí ahora! ¿Dónde estás? This is the last time we will see land for a month. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate, but I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth, abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you. 
que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Hey! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. your animus? I'm sort of the, uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise. In charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, oh. Ah, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man.
beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on that case, I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs that have to go in the streets have been hunting me for a day. So, follow whatever you can find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. What you can touch? Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door? <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. December 23rd, 2012. Sample... You're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See? That file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. 
I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, I'm not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. What? What? No, no, no. I followed that recipe to the letter. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You limey. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Oi. Where you going, the market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked for farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Oh, shit. Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon. As faith, we'll discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. 
the way you think and work, the way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now, and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Peace into matter. Until you see and hear a kind of... shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen its like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, oh, right. I know this feat. Every man and woman on this earth You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I've something else to show you. Found something else just here. I think you'll take to this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Casse, a nice way to kick off but that is some damn fine gear try the key you took from Ducasse that's one only four left aye it might be that these four Templars have them see the names here they've been sent to kill these four targets hang me that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana he said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could, if it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all.
Leaving already? I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory? I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. But I have a word, sir. I be needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. A nugget of your time, my friend. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. Captain Kenway, a moment. I'll not play Duck and Drake with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment.
Excellent. Merci, mon ami. Pas de soucis. Next time. Spare me your jugs just a wee bit. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flow of rum fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flow of rum fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. What do you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Hearken to an old talk, Captain. Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers? Might come in useful if we decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think.
What's our course today, Captain? It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'll be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's there your she aim? blows! Kid, a hump a like a snow head! Show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, from the Yakdam Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. But he has a way of pecking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. There's our prey! Something's coming. We have him on the line! Hang tight! The beast is hurt! Oh. <laughs> Stung him! The grand shot, Captain! Watch it! The tail! Gotcha! He's not saying it, we're Captain! No. Steady, man! Damn it! He's a tough bugger! There he is! Starboard bow! <sighs> the rope is holding! He's pulling, Captain! The beast is hurt! <laughs> Stung him! <sighs> It's weakening! Success! That tail's coming! Stop, See that, stop, lads? Stop it, sir. Hang He's tight, loose, everyone! Won't miss next time. We're ready. Exposed! Make Fire! 
Every last scrap of duck on the wind. Race for impact. Find the helm, sir. You will break us apart. Fire! Look, Captain. That's where the most dead have been scorched. Fire! Dropping mines would curb her ability to ram. Attack time! Look out! Fire! 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 Ready to fire! Go for gallants and royals! Fire! Yes, sir! Good shot of Kripper! Almost ready, sir! Fire! Here it comes! Fire! Taking a hit, fire! Captain. Only time and lumber will hear that. Fire! That will be fire! That's all exposed! Take the shot, fire! sir! The mortar would be ideal from long range. Brace yourself! Take it's bad. We're all but kindling, Captain. Fire! <laughs> Hold it's down! Bad. Hold it's down! Fire! Fire! Yeah! Give me some speed! Come, a good man! It's our course today, Captain. It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. But he has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. Fire! Off target! Fire! We're ready, Get sir! Get sir! And a wipe him out! Ready to fire, sir! Send them over to Gaby Call in the stuntsel! Read the four men! Pull in the top sails! Fire! Look, Cabin! Put yeah! a shot right through there! Fire! Take a shot right there, sir! Incoming fire! Hit her from a fire! Fire! With our mortars. fire! fire! Should we board her, sir? Be careful, Captain! Fire!
Join us. Pull him down to hell, lads! Get moving! Starboard cabin! Cast away! Adrift in the road!
Unfold mains. Let's move. Sir! Cool man! Come on! 
Down, sold sail! On full men! Trim two lads! Good thing we paid the scenes when we did. Evasive maneuvers! Luke. No volverá 
vas a tener tanta suerte. Soy un buen hombre temeroso de Dios. ¡Piedad! Oi, Kenway. Need to disappear.
four new watches come. On your stairs, we trim to muzzle that duck, my trumps. Where did he store those ancients? Heave ho! Party! Te gusta el bastardo de mil rameras. ¿Qué dispara? Alguien le ha dado en la cabeza. <risa> 